Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter seven, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Um, so here's what I will tell you, okay? When you are um, multiplying a whole number by part of a number, which is what a fraction is, that is less than one, it's gonna be less than the whole number. But if you're trying to find out if it's going to be bigger than the fraction, then yes, it always will be because you're multiplying it by a whole number. So if I have seven eighths of a sandwich, but I have five of those, it's going to be bigger than seven eighths. Okay. So this will be greater than because it wants to know if it's going to be bigger than the fraction. Will it be multiplied by a whole number? So yes, it is. Okay. So now, six and two fifths will be going to be greater than a fraction, okay? Because we're multiplying the two fifths by a whole number. So it's going to be greater than. Okay? Now, when you're multiplying anything by one, it stays the same, okay? So that means that one nine times one well, it's going to be equal to one ninth because one ninth times one, anything times one is the same. So equal to. Okay. When you are multiplying two fractions, it's always going to be less than every single time. Okay. Okay. That's like saying I have seven eighths of a sandwich and I'm going to cut off three fifths of it. Is that going to leave you with seven eighths or less than? Or, okay, so it's going to be less than, okay? Or if I have three fifths of a sandwich and I cut off seven eighths of that, if I cut it again into fractions and take off seven eighths of that, so it's going to be less than three fifths, okay? This one it's trying to trick you because seven over seven, it's equal to one. So it's just going to be equal to. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna go ahead and write down the problem um, after we get to it, okay? So it says, Starly is making hot cocoa. She plans to multiply the recipe by four to make enough hot cocoa for the whole class. If the recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, will she need more than half of a teaspoon or less? Well, that means that she's multiplying a whole number by a fraction. So she's going to need more, okay? Whole number by a fraction, and they wanna know if it's gonna be more than, less than, or equal to half of a teaspoon, okay? So it's gonna be more because she's multiplying that whole number by the fraction, okay? So Miles is planning on spending two thirds as many hours by school this week as he did last week. Is Miles going to spend more out? hours or fewer hours by schooling this week than last week. So let's say he spent 10 hours last week, okay? Okay, if he's going to spend two thirds of that, okay, then is that going to be more than or less than 10? Okay, it says then he did last week. Well, last week he did 10. Okay, so we're multiplying that number by the fraction and seeing if we get a whole number that's bigger than or less than 10. Well, it's going to be less than because I'm taking off two thirds of it, or I'm taking off one third of it. So less, okay, or fewer, right? Either one, okay? So we're going to go into the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check. Okay, you totally can. I believe in you, okay? It's just going to be about reading the question carefully, okay? All right. We're going to go down and do power review. In the next 10 months, Colin wants to save $900 for his vacation. He plans to save $75 for the first of each of eight months. How much must he save in the last two months? So first we have to do 75 times those eight months, okay? Then we're going to do the $900 minus whatever that answer is to find out how much you have to do. Okay. And it says in each of the last two months. So then I have to divide that number 
but two, because there's going to be two months that he's going to save. So we need to know how much each month. Okay. All right. So first, we have to do the 75 times eight. So eight times five is 40, carry our four. Eight times seven is 56, plus four is 60. So 600. Okay. So now, 900 minus 600, well, that's 0, 0, and 9 minus 6 is 3, okay? So 2 goes into 2 goes into 30, okay? 2 times 15 is 30, then add that other 0 on each month, okay? Now, you absolutely can do 300 and divide it by 2. You absolutely can. There is nothing wrong with that. 2 goes into 3. 1 times 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract, get 1. 1 is smaller than 2, so bring down your 0. That's 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract, get 0. That 0 you can just push up because this ends in a 0. Okay? So, yes, you absolutely can do that. Okay, I just did it mentally, that's all. Okay, I just broke it up because I know that two times 15 is 30 and then I added that zero on. That's all I did, okay? So you do it your way, make it work for you, okay? So many different ways to learn math, okay? All right, so number four, what is the total cost of half a pound of peaches selling for $80 a pound and seven pounds of orange, sorry, 0. 0.7 pounds of oranges selling for 90 cents a pound. So I'm gonna do 80 times 0. 0.5 and I'm gonna add that to 0. 0.90 times 0. 0.7. Okay, I don't really have to line up my decimals because currently I am only multiplying, not, not adding or subtracting. So I will add these up in just a minute over here, but first I have to do the math, okay? So five times zero, zero. Five times eight, 40, okay? I have to go in one, two, three times, okay? Which means it's gonna be 40 cents because we don't put 400 on the back, right? So we have 0.4 over there, okay? So now seven times zero, zero, seven times nine, 63. I have to go in one, two, three times, one, two, three times. So I have to add 63 cents, okay? First thing that we do when adding decimals is bring down the decimal. Then we start over here and go zero plus three is three. 4 plus 6 is 10. Put the 0 down. The 1 would go over here and we would bring it down. So $1.03. Okay. Okay. Megan Height, 15.12 miles in 6.3 hours. If Megan had the same number of miles each hour, how many miles did Megan hike in each hour? So. I'm going to grab our piece of scrap paper. We are going to put 15. Remember that when you are dividing, that you cannot have a decimal outside of the box. Okay? So I have to move that decimal one time here and one time here. So that puts that decimal right here. Okay? Gives me 63 outside the box. I have to move my decimal straight up, okay? I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to write down my multiples of 63 because I don't know them past about 126. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Okay, so I have 63. I have 126, okay? I'm going to equal 189. Equal 252 and equal 315. 
now. I like to start by going five unless I need more. And since I'm going to be able to get it into 151, I don't need to do more right now. So, okay. So I'm going to go 63 doesn't go into one, doesn't go into 15. It'll go into 151. Looks like 126 is about as close as I'm going to get without going over. So it's going to be two times. Okay. I'm going to subtract. Okay. One cannot take away six. I'm going to make that a four. Make that an 11. 11 take away six is five. Four take away two is two. So I'm going to have 25. Okay. 25 is definitely less than 63. So I'm going to bring down my two. Oh, and look. 252 is one, two, three, four times. Four times 63 was 252. Boom. There we go. Okay, 2.4, and it's going to be in miles. Okay, write your work down, guys. Okay, you don't have to write down your multiples, but write down your work. Okay, all right. So, it is 42 and a half miles from Eaton to Baxter and 37 and four-fifths miles from Baxter to Wellington. How far is it from Eaton to Wellington if you go by way of Baxter? So, we're going to add those together. So I'm going to, since we're adding them, I'm going to put my whole numbers over here on the side. And I'm going to just kind of worry about adding up my fractions. I'm going to move that so you guys can see it. Okay. So I put my whole numbers over here. I will add them in. I just don't need to do it just yet. Okay. So now I need a common denominator between 2 and 5 is going to be 10. Now, my denominators to all of these are going to be 10. Sorry, guys, there's a glare from my window. I can't help. Okay, so I had to multiply the 2 by 5 to get to 10, which means I need to multiply the top by 5, and I'm going to get 5. I had to multiply this by 2, the 5 by 2, so I need to multiply the 4 by 2, and I get 8. So now I'm going to have 13 over 10. Well, that doesn't work because that's more than one whole one. So 10 goes into 13 one time. I'm going to add that with those. Okay, I'm going to take the 10 away that I just moved up there. Okay, and then I would have three left over, and my denominator is 10. So whatever that is, my fraction part is going to be that. Okay, it's going to be that three tenths. Okay, so 2 plus 7 is 9, plus one more is 10. Carry the 1. Oops, sorry, you guys can't see that. Okay, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So 80. And three tenths, and it says miles. Make sure we're labeling. Hey guys, show your work. Okay. Make sure that you're showing your work. It's important. Okay. And thanks for hanging out for 7.5. Come on, back.